Hey y'all, this is Dan Bigman. I am GPR professor from LearnGPR.com, president of Bigman Geophysical, and I just wanted to show you something today. We're out on site, uh, and we're finding some great beams out here. Okay, see my GP on the ground, the GB on the ground, and they're all over the place. You can see my dash lines are the beams. Here's one, here's another one. And so I just want to show you real quick what these great beams look like in profile view. And so in this case over here, you can see it dips down because there's a thickening of the concrete. This is cross-polarized, so you can see that here. And I'm sorry about the, about the noise, this work's still going on. Um, but you can see the beam, and then you can actually see the two thick rebar inside the beam. So if you go over here, down in this hole that starts to get chipped away, you can see where the thickening of the beam starts. Right down there, right? So it's about a five inch slab, but then it thickens down here. That's the bottom of the beam down there. And you can see it runs all the way along, along here, coming up that way. So, hope this is helpful. I know a lot of people ask me about great beams. Um, we're out here, we found a lot of beams running across this place. And uh, yeah, hope everyone's well. Just figured I'd share something with you. Bye. All right, so check this out. Here's another example of the grade beam. Okay, here's the beam. Here's two rebar in the beam, or two responses indicative of like supporting rebar. They're harder to see over here because they're embedded in a wire mesh, okay? But these really do jump out in the cross-polarized example. And what's neat is after they start to chop this up to test, you can see where the grade beam is. You get the thickening down here, up, and then slab, and then you have one, two rebar in there.